People that have woken up in bed with a stranger. What's your story? I was taking a train from Munich to Venice. It was one of those trains that the little rooms have chairs that pull out into beds. A older Italian gentleman came in the room, and as the train took off he made the sleep hand gesture. So I crashed out with this old dude. I woke up to him tapping me letting me know we will be in Venice after the next stop. That's nice of him. Were you able to get to Venice? Super nice, he gave me a card with a number to call for a place to stay if I couldn't find my friends in Venice. Side note as soon as I got to the train station in Munich two Germans walked up to me and said you look lost, where are you going? They helped me buy my ticket and walked me to my train even. People are nice man. A German dude in a business suit convinced my wife and I to cut the entire security line in the Dusseldorf airport because we were about to miss our flight. We are thick and had just sprinted through a pretty big airport. The entire line of probably 40 other people were just fine with it. The security officer asked us why we had cut the line, to which I replied we are about to miss our flight. He replied with a smile and ushered us through the checkpoint. That get you killed by that Savin JFK. Our flight was delayed an hour. Dank. By the way guys, if you are enjoying this video so far, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It will help us out quite a bit, and if you don't enjoy the videos in the future anymore, you can always unsubscribe. Let's get back to the video. I was around 19 years old, and at a weekend festival where most people camped out in tents. I got hammered, and blacked out on Saturday, and woke up on an air mattress in somebody else's tent. I sat up to get my bearings at some point in the morning and a couple was also in the tent, but not laying on the air mattress. The guy sat up right after me and said buddy, I don't know who you are, but you better get the out of here. I didn't stick around to ask any questions. Once went to a festival with some mates. One got blackout drunk and collapsed in the middle of the circle we'd made with the tents. He was a big dude with a massive beard at the time. Next morning we woke up to hear that every tent in our field except for ours has been burgled. We are guessing the sight of a dude sleeping like a bear put them off. One time at my cousin's house party I was absolutely out of social energy and went to a room to go to sleep and I woke up in the middle of the night with two of the most jacked dudes I've ever seen curled up together next to me and a unit of a bulldog sleeping in between me and the dudes. One of the guys saw me wake up and he asked if it was cool to sleep there and I said that I didn't mind but he should let me have some of the blanket because it was freezing. He said no problem bro and then tucked me in like some mother hen and then said good night bro. is the most strange slash wholesome thing I've ever experienced. Dead it. Ima dude btw. The bulldog was the best detail. Little man was conked out something fierce, he was lying on his back with his arms and legs sprawled out, and I couldn't help but giggle. The funniest part was, that the dog didn't belong to me, or the dudes in the bed, he just showed up, and saw a bunch of bros in the bed, and was like I found my people and hopped on. Probably not what you imagined. As a kid, I would sleepwalk at night. In the morning, I would have no recollection of what happened. I spent the night at a friend's house when I was about 10, and the family had a fire going in the fireplace in their living room. My friend's mom decided to sleep on the couch to make sure the fire went out, and the dad went to sleep in the parents' bedroom. Due to the door to their bedroom always being closed, I had never been inside. Which was very very disorienting the next morning, when I awoke in said bedroom, as the dad was just waking up and getting out of his bed. He had assumed during the night I was his son, and didn't question anything, when I slipped into bed with him. Kudos to dad for not making it any more awkward than it already was. And that's the story of how I awoke next to my friend's dad. My freshman year roommate warned me on day one, that he was a sleepwalker. A few months later I woke up to a weird smell, rolled over and saw him standing in front of the microwave watching a whole loaf of bread spin around inside, as the plastic melted, and smoke billowed out in his face. I yelled dude what the f he said, direct quote, it's fine, and just got back in bed. 
I ran over and opened the microwave to shut it off. 30 seconds later fire alarms are blaring and the whole building is being evacuated. We get downstairs and a naughty looks at me and says I bet some dumb burnt popcorn again. I don't know how that dude even made it to 18 without killing himself. Got really drunk in Vegas. Some girl with her friends insisted on going to up to my room. I kept telling her she didn't have to, but she kept saying let's go, let's go. We kissed twice, then she immediately passed out in my bed, so I did the same, with all of our clothes on. I woke up a few hours later, still in a half drunk state having completely forgotten about her. Looked over and my brain was like WTF. Where am I? I quickly remembered, and went back to sleep. Woke up a few hours later, and she was gone. Edit, damn, you guys are untrustworthy, lol. To everyone asking, if anything was stolen, the answer is no. She was staying a few floors up with her cousins, so she wasn't looking for a free room. We were flirting all night, and she was drunk, I like to think she actually might have wanted to go up to my room but passed out as soon as she saw a bed. I don't have a full memory of that night, but in all likelihood I just let it happen, because I'm not one to push myself onto someone who possibly doesn't have the capacity to consent. Lucky you weren't robbed. Girls insisting on going to your place like that have me suspicious. The stranger wasn't in my bed, he was standing beside it looking down at me. He had not been in my apartment when I went to bed, he had broken in and apparently spent quite a bit of time in there before entering my bedroom. He'd broken in through one door and created an exit for himself that took him past the door he'd entered through and out through our other, almost never used, door. I chased him out but lost him in the alley behind my building. The police believed that my reaction saved me from assault and possibly from abduction. Unfortunately they never caught the guy. How did you react when you noticed him? It took a moment to really realize what was going on, then the adrenaline kicked in. I jumped up and lunged for him, fully intending to beat the out of him if I got hold of him, but he was faster and had shoes on, which was a definite advantage once I got outside. It wasn't until I was speaking with the police that I really understood how much danger I had been in. Up to that point, I was running on adrenaline and reflex, apparently my instinct is more fight than flight. The full reaction, particularly the anxiety, didn't come on until the forensics officer showed up and he was able to give a clearer picture of what he'd done before I woke up. It was clear it was a planned intrusion and that theft was not his primary motive. While still living at my parents house, woke up after a club night. It was still a bit dark, but I saw someone next to me in my bed. Spent 15 minutes trying to figure who this was, before I decided to take a look. Turns out it were my extra blankets I used to fill up the space between bed and wall. Decided I needed a lot more sleep, before going out of bed. Reminds me of one time I woke up after a night of heavy drinking. I woke up and lazily opened my eyes, and gave myself time to regain focus. I started panicking after 10 seconds when all I was still seeing was all white. I thought I was blind and lost all vision. I was relieved when I realized I was just facing a white wall that the bed was up against. Reminds me of a story when I was a kid. 7 or 8 years old. Backstory of it is that a couple months prior, I had a head injury, landed on the back of my head playing soccer on concrete, and I lost my sight for about 10 hours. A couple months go by, and I wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. It was pitch dark. I get to my light switch and nothing happens. I'm a bit fuzzy on the details of the story, but from what I remember slash was told by my mommies that I was screaming at the top of my lungs I'm blind. I'm blind, and stumbling up and down the hallway. Mom and dad come out of their bedroom with a flashlight finally, the power was out. Lol oh god, wish this hasn't happened as often as it has. As a tiny female, I'm lucky to be alive. One specifically stands out. I was out drinking with my dad, he was in town visiting, uncle, and my brothers. Across from our table, are these two guys visiting from Tennessee. 
At some point my uncle starts chatting with them and invites them to join our table. One is very Matthew McConaughey like, so naturally I'm trying to be subtlety flirtatious. I drank a lot that night, to the point that I'm pretty spotty on leaving the bar. Or even the fact that my family just let me leave with these two random guys. I woke up in their hotel room. Turns out it was seven guys sharing the room. And I had the entire bed to myself. They even put the comforter over me, while a couple had the other bed and the rest slept on the floor. One of the dudes even went and got breakfast for us all, including me. They tried to convince me to go to the fish concert that they were in town for, but I had to work. That's sweet of the guys to let you have the bed. Did you ever ask your family why they let you leave with two random guys? I've brought it up years later, like oh hey remember that time you guys just randomly let me leave with two gro dudes. They don't really respond with an answer as much as an awkward chuckle. I used to date this really sh** guy. We lived together for 5 years, and in that time some hella dicey sh** happened. But this one makes the top 5. It was a Sunday night, around 2am, I was asleep in bed, when I'm woken by that feeling of someone staring at me. Assuming it's my then boyfriend I tell him I'm trying to sleep and don't want to have <laughs> Then I hear a laugh I'd never heard before. I fly out of bed and there's this guy sitting on the edge of my bed laughing <laughs> off. I ask who he is he says I'm Andrew, boyfriend's buddy then he tells me how my ex told him I was a prude and would be mad if he came in our bed but he didn't believe my ex cause boyfriend was so cool why would he date a boring girl. Then he asked if I wanted some coke. I walked out and told my ex to get rid of him and let me sleep since I worked in the morning. His reply well, now that you're up can you take us to McDonald's? This is top 5. I'm really curious about the other 4. 4. Decided I was cheating on him, I wasn't, trapped me in the house for over 24 hours and smashed my phone. Luckily I could still use Siri to call for help. 3. Got jealous of me visiting my grandpa in the hospital too much, called and texted until I went home after 20 minutes. 2. Made my grandpa's funeral about himself, disappeared when we were supposed to walk to the front, so I sat alone, then left a message saying he couldn't handle all the religion being shoved down his throat and left. 1. Killed my dog. Not exactly the answer to the question, but my dad told me something scary after his stroke. Because he couldn't feel one side of his body, he would sometimes wake up in the middle of the night and think a stranger had broken in and was laying next to him. He would have to calm down and remember that he'd had a major stroke and didn't immediately realize that the person he thought was laying next to him was he himself. That reminds me of a story my mum tells. One night my dad fell asleep on his arm in a position that made it go numb. When he woke up he felt a hand on his neck, didn't realize it was his own, grabbed it and threw himself out of bed. Edit. For those curious about the physics of this scenario, I always just assumed he kind of rolled violently in an effort to drag a non-existent stranger away from his wife. Also, I don't really understand how Reddit works, but thank you for the awards. I know my dad would be pleased to know that something he did, especially something stupid, provoked a reaction in people. I once did almost this exact same thing. I was asleep on my stomach with both arms up under my pillow. My left arm had apparently fallen asleep. Half awake and half asleep I moved enough so that my right hand touched my left hand which didn't feel like it belonged to me. What the is this dead hand doing underneath of my pillow is a hell of a way to wake up. Lmao this has happened to me multiple times because I black out really easy but the crazier of times goes like this. I was 21 m and had just got into a fight with my gf in front of her whole family at their christmas party. We were both drunk and we broke up for the fourth and final time that week. I stormed out without my house keys or wallet or phone. I had drank an entire handle to myself at that point. Walked to the local bar about 2 miles away and realized I didn't have any money, but I did remember my cigarettes which I used to trade for more shots. 
Next morning I was naked in bed with a couple twice my age over 40 miles away from my apartment. They said nothing happened, you just cried a lot, and said you didn't have a place to go, so we took you in and cuddled. The boyfriend drove me to work, and I moved out of state the next week. Edit, my bad guys, I typed handle but meant liter. Sorry to rile you up. And yes, that's still Alit, I'm happy to report this was almost a decade ago, and I no longer drink that much anymore, and very rarely get myself into such chaotic situations, but thank you for the concern. I was in college staying near campus, and decided to go to a frat party. I decided to walk home before the liquor kicked in too much. By the time I got home I was blacking out. I barely made it. Got to my bed and passed out. Didn't even take my shoes off lol. I woke up off and on throughout the night feeling some person next to me. I figured it was a girl I had been dating. She'd come over if she got scared at night or some to sleep at my place. I never thought much of it. She cuddled me that night, and it felt amazing. Guys love being the little spoon sometimes. The sun woke me up, and I decided to go pee. I remember having to step over her to get out the bed. Losing my balance cause I was still drunk. I go pee, come back, and notice this is not the girl I'm dating. Also she's in bra slash panties. F asterisk asterisk asterisk. I then notice I only have boxers on don't remember getting undressed. My clothes are folded on my computer chair next to a half-eaten grilled cheese. I immediately go to my roommate's room to ask who tf she is. He's in bed with his girl. I woke him up and he said the girl claimed she knew me. I was afraid. I go back to the living area until she wakes up. Apparently she didn't have a ride home and since she stayed far I drunkenly offered her a place to crash. She helped me walk home, unlocked the door for me cause I was out of it, undressed me, and folded my clothes. Then she made me grilled cheese cause I was drunkenly begging for one. I ate half of it and laid down. Initially she was on the couch, but said I was calling to her loudly like a banshee lol. She cuddled me, until I feel asleep then she feel asleep lol. I was embarrassed and thankful. She took care of me lol. I took her home, and we laughed about it. We stayed friends for a long time. Hung out more than a few times. We were never more than friend, because I was already dating someone. Sometimes I wonder if she was the one for me. I dk how we lost touch. I don't even like grilled cheese. After my father's death his sisters asked my family to spend a summer weekend with them at a beach resort town. It ended up being the vacation from hell for many reasons, but this is the part that fits the prompt. The aunts didn't tell us they were bringing their extended family. So we had 13 people crammed into a one bedroom condo. Most of us slept on the living room floor, which was also the dining room and kitchen. On Saturday night my teenage cousin stayed out late, while the rest of us returned to the condo and went to sleep. The next morning we woke up to find a 14th person in the condo, a guy in his late teens to early 20s. My teen cousin explained that she'd met him while partying, and he didn't have a place to stay, so she let him crash with us. She let a complete stranger into the room where her grandmother, mother, sister, aunts, and cousins, two of whom were children, were sleeping. Her side of the family shrugged it off, but my side was livid. We've never spent a vacation with them again. I blacked out, woke up naked on a toilet. I go to flush the toilet, the handle isn't where it should be. I look around, this is not my apartment. My phone and clothes were on the floor, but my phone was dead. I had literally just moved to this town the day before. I didn't even know my new address, so without a phone I was stuck in this apartment. I left the bathroom, looked in the living room, and found four girls passed out all along the couches, didn't know any of them. What the hell did I get myself into last night? I go open the closest bedroom door, don't know that girl either. From what I remember, it was the first Friday of a new internship, and all the interns went out drinking. I open up the final door, and I see this girl, that I recognize from the internship. 
She had seemed like she was into me this week, and I remember her being involved with many shots. I wasn't exactly keen on being involved with the girl, but considering how drunk I was, I wouldn't put it past myself doing something like this. I decide that I'm far too intoxicated to make any other move right now. I climb into bed with her and hope that I made the right call. Morning comes and she seemed cool with everything, so I sighed with relief and asked her for a charger and a ride home. My family own a big farm in Queensland, Australia, and it's mostly just under shade bushland, but we lease the area out to a cattle producer. Since we have breeding land we have a lot of calves every couple of years and there is a feral dog population that hangs around trying to pick off the calves, so I go around every few weeks or so and do a several day hunting trip just walking around. It was in the middle of a drought, so I couldn't light a fire, so I just slept in a sleeping bag under a tree in an area I knew pretty well. It was a randomly cold night in summer, so I was happy to get rugged up. I woke up in the morning with my left leg feeling really tight, and I tried to shimmy my pants down in the sleeping bag, because I thought they were just tangled up a bit. I felt something odd. So I unzipped the sleeping bag and there was a red belly black snake wrapped around my leg having a good snooze. I was so dead tired I wasn't even freaking out, I just tapped it awake and said hey mate can you leave and it released my leg and just bug it off. I should have been way more scared at the time, but I was destroyed from the day before. I took a year off from school and was working in Shanghai. I went through a bad period, and for about 2 weeks was waking up in a different apartment with a different girl each night. We went to karaoke one night with a big group and it just snowballed from there. I only remember flashes like riding in a taxi with a girl, and then going into her place, no idea what her name was, or who she was. I remember stumbling alone on the streets of the subway at like 1am, trying to beat them closing and failing. No idea how I got home that night. Honestly, it was incredibly eye-opening afterwards, and I realized how dangerous it was. I still don't remember a lot of that time frame, and I'm not sure I was sober more than a minute during it. Since then I completely stopped drinking, and got my life together. I don't recommend anyone do stuff like that but it really helped me turn my life around. I have a good career and family now, but I always worry about falling back down that hole. Damn son, I'm glad you're okay. That is messed up. Yeah it really wasn't a good thing. I'm lucky I made it through okay, but I've spent a lot of time trying to avoid similar situations. People always think partying forever sound of fun, but it can get pretty crazy. I drank a lot and did Xanax, so I barely remember the night before. I woke up naked in a bed. There was another guy in the bed, I presumed he was naked too because he didn't have a shirt on and the blanket covered everything below. I just got up and got dressed and left, the guy didn't even get up, I didn't want to wake him up. I was extremely confused and just figured that I guy. I had never been into men and never done anything with a guy. I was honestly freaked out. Three days later, I get a call, and it's apparently the guy, saying I left my headphones there, and that he wanted to know I got home okay. He said I dropped them on the ground, when I took my clothes off in the middle of the night. I was like, what do you mean, the middle of the night? He apparently offered me a place to sleep, because I was too drunk to get on the subway, and I was fully clothed, but sometime in the middle of the night I got up, and drank two shots of liquor, and then took all of my clothes off, and danced in his room, and asked that he record me dancing, then passed out in the bed. I became friends with him, and he sent me the video of me dancing naked in his room, and I still have that video today. This is the end of the video, thank you guys for staying with me till the end. If you enjoyed watching this, you might as well watch these two.